Hello to all you Scorpios. This is your monthly horoscope for the sign of Scorpio for March of 2021. Of course, general horoscope. So take what resonates. It can't all be for you, right? So that I don't put thoughts in you that have nothing to do with you. And of course, a Scorpio wouldn't allow that, would they? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, but what is this month all about? Well, in general, it's not a bad month. It's a very soft, gentle month. And actually, for the fellow water signs beside Pisces, and um, so which is you and the Cancerians as well, it's a fantastic month. It can be a fantastic month. And uh, really, this is something that um, this month doesn't have all those harsh aspects like that we've been having <laughs> for so many months. And um, it's nice to see for the water signs that there is a lot of a bit more magic in their life possible. And certainly for you on the sign um, on the side of Rome, when it comes to romance, um, this is amazing energy here. Uh, why is that? Now, I'm going to talk about Neptune and Pisces and then I'm going to talk about your ancient ruler Mars that is trining up with Saturn. But let's first, what is this magical energy all about? Now, what we are having now in February, as I'm recording this, we're having a stellium in, in uh, Aquarius. We're going to have that in Pisces. And Pisces is a water sign that goes well with your energy. And it's in your fifth house, the house of romance, the house also of creativity, children, your self-expression. It's a very heart-centered house. And... Uh, there's going to be around the 13th of the month, there's going to be a new moon there. So the sun and the moon together, but also very close to Neptune, very close to Venus, very close to Mercury. So really a traffic jam there. And um, now on a very positive level, um, which I think for a lot of Scorpios will be very positive because it trines your energy, right? Um, it could mean a new love, a new romance and very, a very magical kind of soulmate connection there. So that's one thing. Um, so prepare for that, right? And very gentle, very flowing and things that flow, right? Because Scorpios, they're, they're quite of, there are people who quite can be a bit, um, you know, attached to the outcome. It's their lesson, basically, to detach yourself from the outcome. But anyway... Um, it can really mean someone that enters your life and that is really putting a little bit of magic into your life. Now, there is a pitfall always with Neptune. And that is if you would put this person on a pedestal. But now that you know, you're not going to do that. You're not going to do that, right? So don't put this person on a pedestal when this person is coming along. Enjoy it. Enjoy the money. When you're dating, this is flowing energy. Absolutely. You don't have to do a lot, you know, it just ha kind of happens to you almost. And that's nice and fresh for the Scorpio uh, person. And I would say enjoy that. But the, the only danger comes when, when you're putting someone on a pedestal and when you expect way too much, when you pinpoint yourself toward the outcome, uh, then, you're, you, then Neptune works in, in the other way. Right. So, um, but definitely on another level, it, it could be your, your creativity, immense creative energy here. So when you work in the field of, of uh, you know, being an artist or you need a lot of your creative energy, this is magical time. And it's not just around that 13th that I'm mentioning. It's also really throughout the month or the, the, the first couple of weeks of the month, the first three weeks of the month you will feel it the most. And then there's a bit more Aries energy shifting towards uh, your sixth house of your day-to-day -day routines and putting a, li uh, a little bit more emphasis on that. But, uh, and on your health as well. But um, I love it. I love this uh, creative energy. I love this soothing energy. I love this healing energy. So also with children, it could be that your child is going through a phase like that. Or your 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 connection with your child is is uh, very good or, or smooth or going or this 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 healing aspect going on um, as well. I would want to stop there actually because it's very dreamy, but you know, um, I like that. I, I know that Scorpios they you know they are suspicious always, but I I've warned you right. I have Scorpio energy in me as well, like uh, my my Venus there and my ruler Jupiter Venus Jupiter. Anyway, 
not talking about me here. What is going on with you, really? Now, um, and having fun as well. Yes, the, the fifth house is a house of fun. So have some fun. Have some fun. Uh, uh, do some things um, maybe with the water elements, you know, swimming or, or what else can you do in the water? Diving, diving. Why not? Anyway, hobbies, very important. Another good energy, which is a bit more serious, is um, Mars in Gemini on the 5th of March entering your your house, actually, your eighth house. And it trines Saturn in your fourth house. This is deep. This is your cup of tea again, because these are emotional houses, the eighth and the fourth house. Fourth house is your roots, or literally your home. And the eighth house is, is your house. It's about life and death. It's about transformation, psychology, value of other people, ego struggles, all of that. But this is good energy. So this is about... Um, Mars is about action. The eighth house could be about that you're getting active to maybe with a business partner uh, doing something together or buying maybe uh, or with your spouse or girlfriend, boyfriend, maybe buying something uh, of a real that has relates uh, relates to real estate estate. Why? Because it's a fourth house of home. So you could be planning on doing that. Um, and it's good energy. It's it's long term energy here. So you could be buying, selling, uh, doing something with insurances, uh, doing something with uh, investments as well. Uh, that's on a physical financial level. On a deeper level, when you're saying, I don't have any money, what the hell are you saying there? Then it has to do more with, or it's going to play out more in the energy on a deeper level, on a psychological level. So you could be digging deep to fight your demons. Mars in the eighth house. You could be digging deep there. And that has a very good effect on your emotional well-being, which is the fourth house. I really like that for you there. A lot of Mars in the eighth house can also be intimacy. A lot of intimacy or you uh, want to be more active so that you... Um, that you will, and with intimacy, it's not just sexuality, it's it's body, mind and soul. You know, Scorpios, it's always like that, right? Body, mind and soul. Um, and it's uh, like truthfulness and authenticity in your intimate relationships. And that gives you a good emotional feeling when you're doing that. So there's definitely energy that points to that uh, during the month of March. Having said that, I wish you a very good month, dear Scorpios. Enjoy it. And uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.